the car. You know I like to hear that. Okay. <laughs> no, because I told you to leave him alone, and you made him mad. Now he brought all his friends. Don't want to use a straw. Ooh. A damn minute. Is that the house across the street that's abandoned? Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Saturday. It's September 2nd. Happy September. Um, yeah, I'm so happy it's a new month. It's my birthday month and yeah, I'm feeling good. It's a good day. But yes, it is now September and my birthday is in what? Like four days no what's today september 2nd my birthday's in five days actually september 7th yes i'm a virgo if you guys didn't know as you can see i'm home for the weekend it's labor day weekend i'm not in my apartment i am home because a girl gonna always come home to her family but yeah no i love coming home on the weekends honestly even though the two hour drive is just like really annoying i'm just used to it at this point but yeah as you can see my makeup is done i'm dressed it's very nice out today. When I tell you, it's been so cold on campus. It's not even funny. I've been wearing sweaters and Uggs. And now I'm in a dress and sandals. The weather is crazy right now. So I'm hoping things cool down because I'm ready for fall, to be honest. I'm ready for fall. But it is 1130. I have a nail appointment because I'm getting my nails done for my birthday because, girl, we gotta have fresh nails for our birthday. It's my 21st birthday and I'm doing it big, okay? So this is kind of like the inspo for the nails if you guys can see that so it's like gold french with like pearly white i might i might not do like all the pearls but like maybe like some of the pearls i don't know yet but the vibe we're going for is like gold pearl mermaid vibes because we're going on a little beachy vacation for my birthday and i have like this really nice dress if you guys saw my last vlog then you know the story behind the birthday dress but my birthday dress is very special and i wanted something that would go with that and also go with the matching theme that we're doing for the last night because we're all wearing matching sage green dresses um for the last dinner but yeah we're gonna see how the nails turn out fingers crossed that my nail tech gets them right she usually does get my nails right but this time i was kind of like iffy about them but that's like my fault because i changed the design last minute um so fingers crossed they come out exactly how i want them to and that they look cute so yeah my appointment is at 12 o'clock it's 11 30 we have to leave soon so yeah today's plans i don't really have too much going on again i'm just getting my nails done and then i might do like a little target run because i honestly just want to get all my vacation stuff done before like a few days before vacation because i do have to go back to school on tuesday and wednesday and then my birthday trip is on thursday yeah there's a lot going on this week but i really just want to get everything done today and tomorrow like packing all my stuff getting all my toiletries and stuff so i don't have to worry about it monday night um when i have to drive back to school for two days so yeah i might stop at target to get a few things that i need and then we're going to like a family barbecue later but yeah just running a few errands today and then tomorrow we are going shopping y'all tomorrow we're doing a big shopping day we're doing fall clothes shopping slash like school shopping um we're actually going to the roosevelt field mall in long island because i love going to the jersey mall but if you know you know that stuff in jersey is not open on sunday which is like really stupid i don't know why that's still a thing but yeah we're going to the mall in long island tomorrow to do a lot of shopping and i'm very excited very excited so yeah before we head out here's a little ootd i'm just wearing this zara dress that i got in aruba i'm wearing my hermes sandals and i'm also wearing my coach reese tote even though it broke yeah the strap broke so i'm gonna have to bring it to the mall in jersey whenever i get the chance i don't know when i'm gonna get to go down there but i i might i might call coach and see like if i can bring it to any coach store or like maybe mail it in to get fixed because I really like using that bag every day, so I need to get that fixed. For now, we're going to head out, get our nails done, and I'm going to show you guys what they look like after, and then we'll go run some errands. So let's get this day started. All right, guys, I just left the nail salon. Oh my God. First of all, don't mind that damn train back there. We're at the waterfront about to get lunch, but she did such a good job on my nails. Like, tell me that's not exactly like the picture. I hope it's focusing because the light is like super bright but oh my god 
She did so good. Like, and every nail is different. So like on each hand, every nail is different. But yeah, they just came out so good. Like the 3D and everything. And I love how she did like the pearls because in the inspo picture, there was like a lot more pearls. But I told her, I'm like, I don't want all those pearls looking crazy. So she did like a few on like these fingers, like the thumb and the ring finger. And then like, which one? These two fingers? They look like um, seashells. So it's like really cute. It's so perfect. And she literally did these in an hour. Like for a fill, like I feel like that's really quick for this kind of design. She literally did them in an hour. But anyways, yes, we're about to go get some lunch at Hudson Taco. It's 1.18. Um, and then we're going to go to Target after this to pick up a few things. But for now, let's go get some lunch because we are both starving. We didn't eat breakfast. Um, it's just me and my mom right now. Y'all, I'm telling you, I can never catch a break. As soon as I finish recording that part, that damn train left. So annoying. It's me, dangerous. Been so lost without you all around me. So we made it to Target. We were looking at the clothes, but like everything's like sold out. Oh my god, that's what I want. One of those that grandma has, but they're $80. No, yeah. you know the ottoman I have from Burlington that looks like this one? Oh, it looks yeah. like that. Grandma Dorothy took the, the dirty fur off of it and put a new cover on it. What? Yeah. So I've been trying to get more furniture and stuff together for my apartment before I do like the full tour. And my grandma actually just reupholstered one of the ottomans I had. So now it looks like this instead of having that like dirty fur on it. So I have to go pick that up as well um, from her house. See, look. So now it's like just like what? Yeah. So it's not oh that. my god, that looks brand new. You remember the like the yes, fur was the disgusting. Fur was, like, matted and like me my biotin. There we go. I usually get this at Walmart, but. Might as well just get it while I'm here. And I also need my other vitamins. I think they're over here. I also take these as well, so I'm gonna pick up some of these. Like I said, I usually get these at Walmart. They're a lot cheaper there, but y'all know I hate going to Walmart. I also can't go anywhere without these ones. So I need to get some Mighty Patches, because I left all my other ones at my apartment. I had to steal one of my mom's Mighty Patches last night because I had like a nasty pimple right here and my skin has literally been clear all week long. So I don't know what's going on, but my skin was clear all week. I was shocked. I also like to bring like a fresh body scrubber when I travel, so I'm getting one of those. And I'm not getting the regular loofah because I like the ones that can kind of stretch so I can scrub my back. So, definitely needed that. Ooh. This Frenchie brand smells so good. I might get one of these. Like they have like um body oil. Yeah, nothing really too interesting. Just needed like stuff for the trip, stuff that, that I need at home that I left at my apartment. Um, I'm gonna get the same cheap toothbrushes that I always get. Literally a dollar for these two toothbrushes. So I always get those whenever I go on a trip. So I need those. And lastly, need razors. Oh my god, that's so, that's cute. so cute. Jink. <laughs> Look at this razor, you can buy the shower hook for it. Alright, we're gonna get this reusable Gillette razor. Venus Gillette. So cute. Alright, and I think I have shave oil, so no I don't hook. need that. The hook is $9. I can literally just like put it upside down so that it doesn't get messed up. Stupid hook. What? Here, just put it in the car. Put it in the car. You know I like to hear that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got everything we needed, so let's get out of here. Hey 
Hey guys, don't mind my appearance, but um, it's a whole lot of time later. It's literally 11 p.m. Actually, I need to charge my laptop. Where's my charger? But yeah, after we left Target, we just brought the stuff home and then we went to the family barbecue. You know, just hung out, ate some food, and it was a fun little day. But yeah, we had a good time, but um, right now I'm just trying to edit my video that I want to post tomorrow on Sunday because I'm really trying to be consistent with posting like mostly on Sundays and sometimes on Wednesdays so I'm trying to get back on my you know consistent schedule of posting on certain days um so right now I'm editing my vlog from my first day of school and I'm just looking for some music and stuff the vlog really isn't going to be that long I only have like about an hour and a half of footage left to edit so it's really not going to be a long vlog at all um so I feel like some of my vlogs are long and then some of them are kind of short depending on what I'm doing. Um, so since it's just like a one day vlog, um, it's kind of short which I kind of like. But right now I'm just on SoundCloud looking for some new music to use in my video because I don't like to use the same music over and over and over again because I feel like it just gets so repetitive. So I'm just looking for some music to put in the vlog for like my b-roll footage. Um, and then I'm gonna finish editing that and then hopefully it'll be uploaded by the morning So I like to like um, export my videos while I'm getting ready for bed and then I like to upload them overnight I know it's really bad for my laptop, but It is what it is. You do what you got to do So if I have to let the video sit overnight with the laptop open I'm gonna do that because that's eight hours of me not having to sit at the computer and wait for it to upload And by the time I wake up, it's ready to go So I'm hoping to have this up literally in the morning um or i'll schedule it to post in the afternoon because we're leaving at nine o'clock tomorrow to go to the mall because it's about two hours away so we want to get there when they first open because i do not like to be out all day and um it's also a sunday so i feel like the mall is very busy on the weekend and y'all know i do not like being around a ton of people so yeah i'm very excited to go shopping tomorrow but yeah right now i'm just trying to edit this video even though i'm tired girl we gotta be consistent okay listen tired or not we got dreams to chase, okay? So we're gonna get this video done. But yeah, today wasn't too crazy, which I feel like most of my days are very crazy, very hectic. Today was a pretty chill day. You know, we did nails, we did Target, and a little family event, and we're chilling. Um, yeah, still very obsessed with my nails, like, ah, uh, so freaking cute. And ah, uh, like the purse and the shoes I had to go with it for my outfit with my birthday dress. Y'all just wait, y'all just wait. Stay tuned for the birthday trip vlog because I am just like so excited. I'm literally so excited. But anyways, I'm going to finish editing this video and go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning and happy Sunday. Um, So it is almost 10 o'clock. As you can see, I'm fully dressed and ready to go. I did my little everyday makeup look as usual. Um, y'all, I was up till literally like 3 o'clock in the morning editing that video. It's not even a long video, but I really just want to take my time. Because when I'm editing my videos, I really don't like to rush it. That's why sometimes when like the videos are delayed, I'm just like, you know what, let me just take my time. Because I don't want to just rush the video and just post it just to have it up. Like, I actually want to take my time to edit the video and make it a good video. So, I'm very proud of myself. I finished editing it completely and I uploaded it while I was sleeping. Um, I honestly stopped uploading my videos in 4K because they just take way too long and I'm like, I don't even think people really watch the videos in 4K unless it's like on a TV. But yeah, I honestly just started uploading my video in HD quality because it just takes too long to do 4K. Um, so yeah, that video is going up at 12 o'clock. I already scheduled it. So yeah, we're heading out to the mall. I'm gonna see if we can stop at Starbucks on the way because I'm hungry. But let me show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing today. Don't mind the messy background. But anyways, I am wearing this Aritzia top. I always wear these. I literally have like a bunch of these and I love wearing these. So I'm wearing this top and then I'm wearing this little Zara score. It's so freaking cute. It's just like this white score and it has like a gold button on it and it really fits like so well on the waist. Like that's why I love wearing this. Yeah, that's the skort. Very, very cute. And then I'm wearing my Gucci 1955 horse bit bag. I'm still so obsessed with this bag, like I really can't get over it. And then I'm wearing my Hermes sandals as usual because I need more sandals. Like I don't have any basic sandals other than these, so I really need to find more sandals. But yeah, that is the outfit. Um, For my scent, I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani. What, boy? 
For my scent today, I'm wearing the Giorgio Armani My Way perfume. As you can see, I really use this a lot. It smells very good, so I use this. And let me tell you about this lotion. I've been so obsessed. If you don't know about the brand Way from Sephora, they literally have this collection called St. Bart's, and it's just like a bunch of body care that smells like so freaking tropical, and like, it just smells so good. Like, it smells like coconut, pineapple, like the beach. Oh my god, I'm definitely taking this with me on vacation. But yeah, I'm wearing this Way St. Bart's body cream because it just smells so good. And pairing it with any freaking perfume, literally amazing. And for my jewelry, I am wearing these little Bottega earring dupes. I saw Aaliyah and everybody talking about them and I ordered them off Amazon. I think these are a different version, but I'll have them linked on my storefront. Um, and then I'm wearing this TJ Maxx necklace, my usual bracelets and rings, nothing special, and my Apple Watch. But yeah, that is the fit for the day. Very simple, but also like not really simple, but it's very me. Like I dress like this pretty much every day. So let's hurry up and get out of this house because we have about like an hour and 45 minute drive to the mall, which is kind of far. It's kind of far, but I don't know. We just be driving everywhere. If we want to go somewhere, we'll just do it. We gonna drive, but let me stop talking and let's go. All right, we're stopping to get some gas before we head out, but I'm about to order the Starbucks. Y'all, the Starbucks iced chai literally has me in a chokehold. So when I saw that they came out with the pumpkin cream chai, what is it? What is it? The iced pumpkin cream chai. It is so freaking good. But I saw on TikTok, somebody said you have to add the pumpkin into the chai because the way they have it set up on the app, it's just pumpkin inside of the cold foam. Like, girl, the drink is supposed to taste like pumpkin. So I order a grande iced pumpkin cream chai latte with oat milk and then I add two pumps of pumpkin sauce because they put pumpkin spice topping on it and then there's some pumpkin cream cold foam. But like you need the pumpkin inside of the chai and it pff, literally so freaking good. Like I feel like an iced chai, the way I order it, it already tastes like the holidays. Like it tastes like gingerbread or like an oatmeal cookie. But like when you add the pumpkin to it, the, literally like the ultimate fall drink like, like I'm glad that the weather is nice but I'm ready for fall I am ready for fall <laughs> Yo, this... just picking up a mobile order for Brianna mobile order for Brianna yes or can you come around thank you oh my Brianna. god oh my god Yo, there's we so are under bees. attack I told you Yo, there's so many bees outside the window there was one and she tried to she sprayed him with the damn when she flew it, and now he brought his friends. He brought the whole crew over to the car. And I'm we're in the actually trying to... scared right now. No, because <laughs> I told you to leave him alone. And you made him mad. Now he brought all his friends. Now we can't even get our shit. <laughs> no, literally, if I get stung, it's going to be a problem. That was really scary. Like, no, literally. Like... I told you to leave him alone. And then all of a sudden, literally like 10 bees flying around <laughs> just our car. <laughs>
All right, guys, so it's a whole lot of time later. It's almost 7.30 now. As you can see, we're back in the car. We had such a great day shopping. Oh my God, first of all, I found everything I was looking for, except for these sneakers that I wanted, these New Balances, they didn't have them in store, so I actually just ordered them online. Um, and these Ugg slippers that I wanted, they're sold out everywhere, so I'm just gonna like forget about those. I found so many cute things today. I'm so excited to give you guys a haul, but I think I'm gonna do a separate like school shopping haul because I got a ton of stuff. So I don't wanna like make 30 minutes of this vlog just the haul, so I think I'm gonna do like a separate haul video for you guys, so um, stay tuned for that. But you guys did see some of the stuff that I got because I showed you a lot of the things that I tried on. But yeah, there were just so many nice people at the mall today. So many sweet sales associates. Like, shout out to the girls at Aritzia. I really don't remember their names because I suck at remembering names. But the girls at Aritzia were so nice, y'all. When I tell you, I did not have to pick up anything. I literally picked up one item. But everything else, like, I literally told her, I'm like, I'm looking for fall basics and I'm looking for, like, matching sets. She was running around the store. And by the time I got to the dressing room, she had everything lined up for me. And when I tell you, everything fit perfectly... Like, I've never had that experience in Aritzia before. Like, usually the sales associates are like, either rude or they're annoying as hell. I'm sorry, but they just are. If you know, you know. But everybody was so nice in there and they were so helpful. Like, I would not have found all this stuff without them. Um, after we left the mall, we went to this little French bakery. I didn't even know that it was in this really nice area. I think it's called Garden City. But there's, like, such a nice area you can walk around. There's so many different shops and, like, they have a sweet green over there. I was like, I had no idea. Like, we would not have known that was over there if we did not go to that bakery. But um, the pastries were so good. We got some macarons and I got a strawberry tart and my mom got a raspberry tart. So it's, it's been like the perfect day. Like literally the perfect day. I found all the stuff I was looking for. I had um, some good sweets today and now we're on our way to Kava. So yeah, after the bakery we just left because we didn't want to be home too late. Um, so yeah, we're getting some Kava on the way home. Because it's not a day out without Kava. Like what's the point of driving all the way down here if we're not going to stop at Kava on the way home? I can't wait to just start getting all my stuff together for the trip like it's very late I'm definitely not gonna start packing tonight but I'm definitely gonna start packing tomorrow morning so tomorrow morning I want to wake up and just like start organizing all my outfits for the trip and just getting everything together so that I don't have to like wait till the last minute because Tuesday morning I have to leave to go back to school in Binghamton and then I'll be back Wednesday night to catch our flight 7 a.m. on Thursday so yeah it's gonna be very hectic next few days but either way I'm excited I'm just so grateful like Oh shoot, I didn't order the freaking Kava. <laughs> wow, sir. Hey guys, so today is actually Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't end up packing anything. I was just so tired and I'm like, you know what? It's Labor Day. It's a holiday. Everybody else got off of work. I'm gonna just take a break from vlogging because I was just like so mentally drained. I have so much going on with school, a lot of stuff I need to catch up on and like get on top of before I leave for the trip. So, as you can see, I'm back at my apartment. I drove up very early this morning. I recorded the shopping haul video, did the try-on for that, um, and then I had to rush over to class. But we are finally back, and it's about like 7 o'clock, I think. Yeah, I've kind of got my things organized a bit, so I know exactly what goes where. So I have my clothes laid out. I'm about to put them in the packing cubes, and then I have all my products that I want to put into my other bags. And then I have like my purses, my shoes. I think one of the pairs of shoes I'm going to pack is at the house. But we'll get those tomorrow when I go back because I'm literally driving back tomorrow after class. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm packing, how I pack. Uh, I am checking a bag because I just have way too much stuff. I'm just an overpacker. It's just like who I am. And I really didn't pack that much extra stuff. It's just like the size of the things I have. Like my beach bag is very big. And I don't want everything getting crushed, especially like my designer bags and shoes. I don't want them like getting crushed. So I just spent the freaking $30 and got a check bag. So let me take you guys over to the bedroom and show you what I got going on in there with the clothes and stuff I'm going to pack. Don't mind like the noise from like the air conditioner, y'all. It is literally 90 degrees out. I'm like, what the hell? Like it is so hot. I was like disgustingly sweaty when I was trying those clothes on. And now the freaking Lululemon tank top has sweat stains on it. I wore it for two minutes. <sighs> Y'all, it is so hot, it's not even funny. Like, I'm actually really annoyed. Literally my first and second week of classes, it was like 65, 72 degrees. Oh my God, it was the perfect temperature. Now, it's hot as hell. And it's like, I want it to be this hot when I'm at the beach. Not when I'm trying to go to class and I have to walk. Ooh, I'm just like so disgusting. So I'm definitely gonna have to take a shower. So as you can see, I have like my clothes and stuff 
laid out into categories. It's really not a lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm being smart about packing. It's just like the size of my things is just a lot. So I have like underwear. I have three, only three sets of pajamas, guys, because there's only three nights. So I'm like, let me not pack any more pajamas than I need to. Um, then I have like my sage green dress for the last day when we're all matching. And then I have these two J-Lux label outfits that I'm bringing. Here's the other one. I have this Zara skirt, and then this tank top goes with all of these bottoms. This tank top goes with these pants, these shorts, and that skirt, depending on what I want to wear. Um, I'm only bringing two cover-ups. I'm bringing these shorts from Target, and then these pants, I think I got those from Marshalls. And then for bikinis, I'm just bringing a bunch of them because they're so small, you can really just kind of bundle them up. Um, so I have this one from Shein because I haven't worn it before, so I'm like, maybe I'll like it now this really cute one that i found at tj maxx and then this target one that i got recently on clearance and then another target one and then this other shein one that i haven't worn in a long time and then i also have like an extra pair of clothes over here that i'm gonna bring so i have like an extra beach cover up um these pair of shorts um this dress to throw in my carry-on and, and then also my Amelia pucci bikini just in case so it's like you know if we get there and i don't have access to my checked luggage then i just have an outfit and whatnot that i can wear um inside of my carry-on luggage and while we're over here i'll just show you guys what i have over here so i'm bringing these two hats i'm bringing this jacquemus one to match my jacquemus beach bag and then this hat from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then I have this Ray Dunn blanket that I'm bringing. It's literally my vacation blanket. I only bought it for when I travel, so it's time to bring it again. The last time I used it was in Aruba, so it's just been sitting in my room. But I'm excited to bring this because I do not really like hotel blankets. I like hotel pillows, but when it comes to blankets, I need a throw blanket. I do not want to sleep under a comforter, y'all. I just can't. And then I'm also bringing like this little clutch. I actually got this from the European Wax Center when I got my last wax. Um, let me show you guys. Jesus Christ. So inside of here, there's actually two products that came with it. Jeez, I keep dropping everything. Um, so it comes with this little mini body polish, which I really like to use. And it's like a limited edition scent, Summer Oasis. And then also this really cute body oil. It's like this body glow shimmer oil in the same scent. So I'm just bringing these inside of here because I'm like, why not? I still need to exfoliate and then I'll try this oil out when we go to the beach and the pool and stuff. Down here, I have my birthday shoes, my birthday dress still wrapped up, my Colt Gaia bag. I'm bringing this other bag that goes to my birthday dress. I don't think I showed you guys this bag yet, but you'll see it um, when I wear my birthday outfit. But this is my bag for my birthday outfit. And then my Jacquemus beach bag, the huge Raffia beach bag. I have my travel towel. I have to find my Polaroid, but I have the um, photo album and the extra film goggles because I like to be snorkeling, girl. I like to be snorkeling. And then these little travel towels. And then I'm bringing these Dolce Vita sandals and my Tory Burch. And then also my Hermes. But like I said, I forgot them at home. And then over here, I have all my products lined up. So much stuff I know. I'm just a very high maintenance girl, okay? So I have like my hair stuff, mousse, cream, scrunchies, brush. Um, don't know why this cup is here, but okay. Um, for fragrance, I'm bringing this new Kayali Pistachio Yum Gelato Mini Spray that I bought at Sephora. My Tom Ford Lost Cherry, my Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And then also this new Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Shimmering Body Oil that I bought. Um... For deodorant, I'm bringing my Mega Babe. And then my Thigh Rescue, because girl, these thighs get tore up if I don't put that on. I'm bringing my full-size body wash because I'm like, okay, I'm checking a bag, so I might as well bring full-size products. So I'm also bringing my new Way St. Bart's body cream and my Fenty um, body butter. And these little mini travel bottles, I have... This is my Natarium body wash, I think. And then this one's aloe in case I get burned. And then this is... I think this is cocoa butter oil for tanning. Girl, I don't know. I have my Gillette Venus mini razor. Mighty patches. You know, stuff I take. More hair products. Mini body. Girl, I don't know why I have this over here. I literally, you know what? I'm going to put this back because I do have this mini method body wash. So we're going to bring this and we're going to leave the Frenchie body wash because that thing is way too big. So we're going to bring the little one. 
Then for skincare, I love bringing my Green Clean with me because I do not like makeup wipes and my cellar water is annoying sometimes. And I like to double cleanse because it's just better for my skin. So I'm bringing this um, Pharmacy Green Clean in the Mint and Strawberry, I think. Then I have this EOS um, Shaving Cream, my Super Goop Sunscreen, my Mini Toner, different serums, eye serum. I'm gonna bring my Kiehl's moisturizer as like my main moisturizer because it's a little smaller than the Tasha one. And then just like Summer Fridays. And then I also put my Kiehl's clay mask in this little container so I can do a mask if I want to. Toothbrush, extra contacts, my Oli vitamins. So pretty much just everything I use every day and I'm gonna have to fit them into these three little bags over here. And then over here I have my makeup bag with everything I need. It's like literally a mess, so yeah. But this is my makeup bag that I have. And then for my airport fit, I'm actually wearing the matching Lululemon set that I bought yesterday. And I'm going to wear my white um, Bolero from Target because it just looks really cute together. And like I said, it's going to be hot as hell in New York and in DR. So, so yeah, I'll have the Bolero for when I'm on the plane. I'm a little chilly and then I have a bra on for when we get off the plane and it's 90 degrees. Guys, I am just like... Oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I have so much to do, and I really just want to get this stuff packed up. And I also have to make a TikTok for all this stuff. Like, a lot of the stuff you see on here, I also do in TikTok, so it's like a lot of back and forth. Um, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. So I'm about to order some food because, first of all, we have no groceries. And this is the only night I'm spending here, so I'm like, it's really not that serious if I just order something tonight. So I'm probably going to order some pizza. Because I've been craving pizza, okay? Don't judge me. I've been craving pizza so bad. So I'm going to order my pizza. And while I wait for that, we're going to pack up this suitcase, get everything organized, and just be ready to go. Oh, oh, yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know I'm not. Baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing and slowed down. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me enough to react. No waking up in the crib, and sometimes I don't even know why I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga sickness in this party, I can't even listen to that. Anytime that I ride into somebody, it must be a victory lap. Shawty come sit on my lap, hey, they saying Trizzy just snap. This is between us, it's not like a store, this is an unclosable gap, hey. I see some niggas attack, and don't let them get it back. I know that they at the crib, going crazy down bad. What they had, they gon' last, damn, baby. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they going out this night? I'm in the trenches, relax. Can you not play that little boy in the club? Cause we do not listen to rap. Me in Atlanta, I buy her weed, she telling me Tay is the best. And then nigga who act like a killer, but you only one from the net. I'm like the baby, I'm not just a rapper. You feel me? You won't get stretched. Bring drinks to the hood, surround Drake, around Drake. Even though I got a case, I'ma do what it takes. And I never been embraced, and the money's hard to make. So I bet they on their face right now. I know that. All right, so I just finished packing, but guys. <laughs> I swear, DoorDash be driving me crazy. Like, either the driver just doesn't know what the hell they're doing, or they ju it just, like, the food is trash. So I ordered some Papa John's, right? And I'm like, oh, it's dropped off. I look at the picture, I'm like, that is not my house. That is not the front door. So where the hell do they put the food? And I was so pissed, I immediately went in there and was like, um, my order didn't arrive. They put it at the wrong fucking house. They put it at the wrong house, so send me another pizza. So they're like, okay, we'll give you the credits and then you can order it. So whatever. So I order it and I look at the picture because I'm like, I'm looking at this picture. I'm like, I've never seen this door before. Doesn't look like the house over here. Doesn't look like the house behind it. I'm like, where did they leave my food? 
So I'm looking at the map and I'm like, wait a damn minute. Is that the house across the street that's abandoned? Did this guy literally leave a pizza at an abandoned house? Literally the porch on this house is completely busted. The whole yard is overgrown. The windows are broken. The freaking, there's washer, there's like a broken wash and dryer on the porch, like scraps everywhere. And he thought that that's where I lived? You thought somebody was living there? And you thought you put the pee? I was like, are you kidding me? So I'm like, okay, let me be sure. I'm like, I already ordered the pizza. They won't give me another, another refund. So I'm like, let me just go up across the street and shoot, maybe I'll get two for one. Two pizzas for the price of one. So I go across the street, lo and behold, my damn pizza's there on a freaking block of wood. These DoorDash drivers, man, like I'm telling you, when I was a DoorDash driver, I went above and beyond for these people. When I gave people a service, I treated treat it as if it was for myself. So I had to go across the street, it was sitting there, they're lucky the pizza's still hot. So I got my little Papa John's cheese pizza, extra sauce because I'm crazy. And then I got my little garlic sauce, but I was so annoyed. So now I have another pizza on the way. So I guess, you know, I'll just save that one, heat it up tomorrow for lunch. The last thing I'm gonna do is get my carry-on bag together. Um, but it's really nothing special. If y'all know, y'all know. I always post a TikTok about my airport bag and what I pack in it. So if you're curious about that, you can go on my TikTok. But it's really nothing special. Um, my large Telfar, I just put like my travel pillow, which I talked about some of my travel items in my Amazon favorites video. Um, I have this little travel pillow from Amazon. This salt don't do nothing. But yeah, um, my large Telfar... I mainly put my travel pillow, my chargers, my laptop. I have my little like toiletry bag and stuff, which you guys seen the stuff that I carry before my purse. So my airplane bag is really nothing special. I just bring like my usual stuff. And then when I'm at the airport, I have extra room in there. So I can put snacks and a water bottle and things. So the airport bag is really nothing special. When I tell y'all, I'm just like so over it right now. I went to get me a little beverage to have with my pizza from the fridge. I look at my bed, I was like, did I forget to put two of my bags in my suitcase? I forgot to put my makeup bag and my freaking skincare in the suitcase. I'm, I'm over it, <laughs> I'm so tired. It's been such a long weekend, such a freaking long week. Like I had a good time, but I am tired. So I think I'm truly just going to relax on this vacation, like, but I can tell y'all this travel vlog is not going to be as eventful as my usual travel vlogs because we don't have excursions planned for every single day and it's only a four day trip so we're really just going to like relax, decompress, so we're going to go to the spa, try different restaurants, go to the pool and stuff, so like, I'll show you guys little things here and there but it's probably not going to be like an hour long travel vlog, it might depending on what we end up doing and what, you know, I show you guys. But it'll still be interesting, it'll still be fun, it'll still be cute, so stay tuned. So yeah, we literally leave like 3 a.m. on Thursday. It's gonna be a very, very early morning, but I'm very excited. Like, we'll be leaving the day of my birthday, and I'm just, I'm excited for everything. And um, I'm just very grateful that I have such a supportive, generous, loving family. Um, and I have a feeling it's gonna be a great birthday. So far, things have been amazing. Like, y'all know, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, I've gotten early birthday gifts and I still got other birthday gifts because I'm I'm very blessed, y'all. I just I just thank God for that. So yeah, that's it for this little weekend vlog. It's not the weekend anymore, but I had to, you know, still show you guys me packing and all that stuff. Like I said, if you guys want to see some more short form content and other little things, you can go follow my TikTok. It's Bria Gia on everything. Then follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with me day to day. I post literally every single day on my story. Whether it's one story or 30, I literally post on my story every single day. So if you want to keep up with me more than just on YouTube, you can go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So I hope you guys like this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in Punta Cana. Wish us luck on our flight.